we are not sure based on what's happening now in Gaza, who is still alive or who has been killed by the Israeli killing machine. Do you accept, uh, Bassem Naim, uh, that a huge number of uh, Israeli civilians were murdered in the attacks on October the 7th? I know you, that's previously been denied, but do you now accept that that happened? I think uh, no human being uh, or anyone who is uh, ev you know, evaluating uh, humanity uh, can accept uh, harming or attacking civilians. But I have here also to remember of two things. <clears throat> One is uh, that 75 years of, Pal of civilian Palestinians are under continuous massacring by the Israeli killing machine. Gazans in particular now for more than 17 years are kept hostages. 2.3 million Palestinians kept hostages under, uh, under the suffocating Israeli siege. And unfortunately, it is supported by the international community. I understand the, 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 point, the, the, historical point, the historical point you're making, um, people will be familiar with. The question, though, is specifically about what happened on October the 7th. When it happened, you said it didn't. Do you now, ha and does Hamas now accept they murdered 1,400 Israeli civilians. Let, let me continue again. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I wanted to answer, answer that specific question first. You can make another point thereafter, but I just wanted to answer that specific question if you would. Do you accept, it's a really, really important one, because you're seeking legitimacy in what you're doing. And I want to know if you accept as a basic principle your organisation, Hamas, murdered people on October the 7th. I, I am here in an interview. I am not here to receive... Uh, order on instructions. I can tell you the story didn't start on October 7th. There are civilians who are 2.3 million Palestinians killed on a daily basis inside Gaza because they are kept hostages by the Israeli And I want to hear you tell me, Gaza. and I want to hear you tell me what happened to the civilians on October the 7th in Israel. We can then have a discussion about what follows, what might happen with hostages, why we have got here. But the, the central premise of this interview has to be simply this. You previously said this didn't happen. I just want you to tell me if you now accept that 1,400 civilians in Israel were murdered. Unfortunately, you are not allowing me to continue. Give me a little bit of time and we, I will answer all your questions. I have enough time to answer all your questions. Well, I would like you to no, answer that question. I, 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 one minute. The instructions from the in moment, the, uh, the uh, act of defense, because we are imprisoned, we are kept hostages, it was an act of defense to get rid of this, uh, uh, the walls of this prison, which, which are the walls around Gaza Strip, which converted Gaza into the biggest open air prison. It was an act of defense. This instructions from the first moment, not to harm civilians, not to kill civilians. But I have to remember everyone that not Gazans who are uh, using civilians as human shield because our civilians, we are living in our houses. I, and, we but, are living but, but that is but a laughable, that, that is a laughable, that, that is a laughable proposition you've just said. That is a laughable proposition because you've just said it was an act of defense and there were instructions not to kill civilians. It was an act of killing civilians. It was an act in which 1,400 civilians were killed and people were taken hostage. It is a simple fact of existence that that has happened. And in order to be credible, in order to make any arguments you want to make about the validity of resistance in Gaza, you have to testify to the truth, do you not, to say, we killed civilians in Israel. You have, you have allowed this terrorist from uh, the spokesperson or lady from the Israeli side to tell you the whole story without any interruption. I can tell you the following. The instructions not to harm or not, or not to attack any civilians from... What you say on October the 7th, there was an you were saying on October the 7th, when people were sent out to murder civilians, you said there was an instruction not to kill or not to harm. We that cannot continue this interview and this... If you allow me to talk, please. If not, I am sorry. I, I can tell you the, the full story and the full truth. I have nothing to, to hide. And nothing to deny. But it seems that you are hiding a, a basic premise. That's all I want to get to the point is. And if you say that people were asked not to harm civilians when civilians were killed en masse, that makes everything else you say completely questionable. You must see that. You, you, unfortunately, this is your story. It is not our story. This is the story adopted by, from the Israeli propaganda. Again... <clears throat> We have a so it's propaganda that 1400... But, but this is not a story. I, I, this, is, this is a really fundamental point to me in this conversation. It is not a story. It is a fact. Is it not a fact that 1400 people 
died. You, it was done deliberately. It was done deliberately as an act against the state of Israel. Of course it was. That's why you did it. I just want you to, 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 to accept that you did it because that seems to be fundamental in any further discussion that follows. It is also fundamental that we are, that 2.3 million civilians are under siege for 17 years, killed by dying, by poverty. Uh, 55 children in the last, in this year, killed by Israeli machines everywhere in the West Bank. 75 years of occupation and oppression. We have the right to defend ourselves, to defend our houses and families. But it doesn't uh, execute attacking or harming civilians. But you did harm civilians. I get that. You know, we testify on this program to the deaths of Palestinians in Gaza. We testify to the deaths of Palestinians in the West Bank. That is not in dispute. But you have to accept, do you not, that you did then take a fight to Israel, a terrorist attack that led to 1,400 innocent people, some of them British, two sisters, 16 and 13, Noya and Yahel Sharabi. They're dead. They're dead now because of a decision made to attack Israel. You must accept that. It was, it, first of all, again, it, the instructions was clear not to attack civilians, not to harm civilians. So we why did they die? Military. Why did they die then? We have, we have attacked military. Let me, let me talk. Unless... Otherwise, I have to adopt your narrative, which is an Israeli propaganda. We have attacked military compounds. Within these compounds, the Israelis have taken all these civilians as a human shield. All these civilians living in these kibbutz. You attacked a kibbutz. You attacked a kibbutz. That's not a military kibbutz compound. Kibbutz are suffocating our... Okay, these kibbutzes and the people there, they are suffocating Gaza for 17 years. You have to remember that we are dying every day silently. No one is talking about us. For the first time, time is radio... Is, is, is contacting someone to talk about... That is simply not true. We, we talk about this issue, Jerry. A couple of other questions, because I think we, we're going to get anywhere on that. Um, we are, there are 200 hostages at the minute. What is going to happen to them? When will these hostages be returned by Hamas to their families in Israel? Again, I will, talk, I will answer your question, but again... Go on, answer, that, answer that question, please. You, you, yes, I, unfortunately, you are talking about 200 hostages, but you are not even talking about... 2.3 million slaughter. We've already talked about 2.3 million people in Gaza. I'm asking you, uh, what is going to happen, please, to the 200 hostages currently being held by Hamas? Two, two things. First of all, we are not sure, based on what's happening now in Gaza, who is still alive or who has been killed by the Israeli killing machine. So you don't know how many hostages you've still. You don't know how many yeah. hostages you've got still alive. Continue my answer. Uh, otherwise, we can uh, we can stop here. It is impossible. Let me answer my question. Okay. It is, I, I cannot take from you dictations or instructions. I have the right time to, to answer my question how, uh, according to my narrative. I want you to answer the questions. To I want you to answer the questions according to so we can understand the truth. That's all I want to have. There's 200 hostages that you've taken. What is going to happen to them? Will they be returned? Let Where are answer. they? Otherwise, we have to stop here. Well, answer Again, my question. We don't know exactly who is still alive because the Israelis have bombarded everywhere, killed families, houses, more than 50, 60 Palestinian families demolished from the civil registry. Al Qassam Brigade has announced that 22 of the, uh, this was three days ago, I'm not sure about the, the, the numbers today, 22 of the hostages are killed with our families under the rubble. Uh, the, the second issue that he announced clearly. At the time the aggression is stopped, there is a technical and logistical and security-wise any chance to release all the civilians. It, it will be done uh, without any uh, conditions. This is one. The other one, uh, we are looking for immediate stopping of the aggression uh, and opening the borders to allow uh, humanitarian aid to enter Gaza for 2.3 million people. Why have, you got, why have you got civilian hostages? Why have you got civilian hostages if this was a military uh, thing in your view? That, that, that exactly is my point when you say we, this was an act of defense, that we didn't seek to target anyone other than the military. You have 200 civilians. Why do you have 200 civilians? Can you guarantee their safety? Again, if you want me to answer, let me answer. Look, there are 5,000 
800 civilians in Israeli jails. Why you are not talking about them? Because Including I'm asking Lebanon. you, because you represent Hamas. We may have to get to the end of this, because like you say, there, there may be no point in, in this, because but you represent Hamas. Hamas has these hostages. I want you to be honest and say, what is happening to them? And you're saying, from what I understand, that if there is a cessation of, um, uh, of bombing in Gaza, you will let them go. Is that what you're saying? You have allowed the lady to talk all this rubbish without interrupting here for one second to talk about terrorist acts, about civil, about human... She was talking about the deaths of her citizens, which is not a point of dispute except by you. One final point before we have to end this. Can you guarantee that humanitarian aid, if it gets in to Gaza, can you guarantee it will go to civilians, the people that you say you care about, the people that you've brought this horror upon by instituting terrorism against Israel, can you guarantee that any humanitarian aid that gets in will get to civilians? We are now terrorized for 75 years, supported and technically by a direct involvement of the UK, and therefore our people killed are part of the responsibility of the UK who are now sending weapons and ships to participate in the... In will the, you let the, humanitarian the, aid through, is the question. People. The question is, will you let humanitarian aid through? We, we, are, we are looking for a dignified life. We are not looking for humanitarian uh, aid. We, if you leave us, if, you, if they are not happy with our neighborhood, please okay. leave us. We are occupied people. We have, the, we have the right to live free and in dignity. Ah. If they are not happy with us, please leave us. This is the international law. The international law, we are occupied people. Israel is the occupied power. I think we'll have, we have, to, the right to, defend I think we'll have to leave that. I've tried to allow, to, to, to allow you to speak and I've tried to ask you very clear, very straightforward questions and you've declined. I think anyone listening to this would, would notice that you've declined to answer them.